Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on our fascinating historical deep dives. Today, we're tackling a titan of history, the Roman Empire. From its humble beginnings as a small Italian city-state to its dramatic collapse, the Roman Empire has captivated the imaginations of history buffs for centuries. So let's get into it. Rome wasn't built in a day, and it certainly didn't become an empire overnight. It all started in 753 BC with the legendary founding of Rome by Romulus and Remus, twin brothers raised by a she-wolf. Mythical origins aside, Rome began as a small settlement on the banks of the Tiber River. Now, Rome didn't rise to power by playing nice. No, Rome was all about expansion, military might, and yes, a bit of backstabbing, both metaphorical and literal. The Roman Republic, established around 509 BC, saw significant expansion through a series of wars. The Punic Wars against Carthage, the conquest of the Greek states, and military campaigns in North Africa, Spain, and Gaul helped Rome become the dominant power in the Mediterranean. But, as they say, Rome wasn't all gladiators and grape leaves. The Republic had its share of internal struggles, leading to the rise of figures like Julius Caesar. And who could forget the Ides of March, when Caesar was assassinated? This event triggered a civil war that led to the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. In 27 BC, Augustus Caesar became the first Roman emperor, heralding the Pax Romana, a 200-year period of relative peace and stability. But even during these good times, cracks were starting to show. Rome was getting big, and not necessarily in a good way. With expansion came the challenges of managing diverse cultures, long supply lines, and the ever-present threat of external invasions. And let's not forget the internal power struggles, corruption, and economic instability. By the end of the 3rd century AD, the Roman Empire was divided into a western and an eastern part to make it more manageable. While the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire, continued for another thousand years, the Western Roman Empire was on its last legs. Fast forward to 476 AD. A young barbarian leader named Odoacer deposes the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustulus, signaling the official end of the Western Roman Empire. So, to sum it all up, Rome rose from a small city-state to a colossal empire, driven by military conquests, cultural achievements, and political innovation. But it also fell due to a cocktail of internal and external pressures, economic, military, and social. And that, my friends, is the rise and fall of the Roman Empire in a nutshell. If you enjoyed this historical journey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment below with which historical topic you'd like us to cover next. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. See you next time.